Hello everyone, my name is Muddy and welcome back to another episode from the Echo Craft server. This is episode 3 and in the last episode we finished it up with cleaning off a bad prank from Weasel Storm. But between episodes, well, we've got a fair bit done. We'll just head over to the island here. We'll see that we've put in just a little bit of manual farming. That's just helping with some of the villager trading. And we've also created this uh, entrance down into the bottom of the base. And this just allows us to fly in a little bit easier. So we built this in the last episode and we had loads and loads of dramas. But since then, just a bit of a tidy up, make it look a bit more prettier. Uh, we've got a enchanting area here. We've got the start of our storage system through here. And over here we have a semi-automatic brewing stand. So, let's see if I have anything. I have something on here. I have some potion of invisibility. Fairly straightforward. All we need to do is just select the ingredients in order of what we want to brew. So, let's make a 8 minute duration of fire resistance. So, we'll create an awkward potion with the magma cream and the redstone. Magma cream and the redstone are up the top and here's the orchid potion being created. So nice and easy. Dropper basically puts the ingredients into some hoppers in the top and they bring them into the top of the brewing stand and the water bottles just come through the side. In today's episode my plan is to basically get a super smelter built here. A huge one, probably about eight furnaces I think will be about enough for what I'm going to need. But I just want it to be nice, clean, and, you know, suits the base. So I think I've got a design here for three chests that are going to run along the front. One's going to be for the fuel, one's going to be for the input, and one's going to be for the output. And then down the side here we'll have a bunch of glass windows that will allow us to look in and over the actual furnace system as it's operating. And have a look at a bit of the redstone and, I guess, enjoy the build. Now let me go get some of the ingredients together to start building this. Be right back. I've clicked on my redstone box and this will have the majority of the ingredients I'm going to need and inside here we have uh, a lot of the building blocks. The only thing I think I'm probably going to need is a little bit more hoppers so uh, let me go back and get them again. Alright, now we've got this area all tidied up, let's start getting the bases down. So we know we're going to have our chest here. Now I've had to knock out this block here first because I need to put in some rails. So let's take down some rails, some hoppers, some furnaces and a bit of redstone and we'll get this area started. And after that, I've built it all across this side by one block too many. Because this is actually where I want the uh, the droppers to come up and feed the output. So, uh, we're going to have to knock all this down and rebuild it one block across. The 
this is my favorite part. Hey everyone, it's Matty here. I thought I'd take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about myself and about the plans for this channel. I'm from Western Australia. I'm a father of two boys aged six and eight, who are the ones that actually got me into this game about a year ago now. I plan to bring out more content as I become more proficient at recording and editing. And at the moment, I'm still getting a hang of using Action and using different editing software. So it's a bit of a learning curve for me at the moment. But what I would like is to hear a bit of your feedback in the comments below about what you like, what you dislike and what you want to see and what do you think I could do better at. Now, I know this video didn't have the greatest audio and I have a bit of dramas with that which I've been working around and hopefully we'll have it sorted out for at least the next video. And I'm appreciative that you guys are hanging around, watching the videos and supporting. But make sure, hit that like button, comment, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so before you leave today. You'll mean heaps. Let's get back to it. Obviously, you use blaze rods, so they're going to burn for a little bit longer. They only burnt, uh, only smelted eight items, and they can smelt twenty. So, you know, we've got a little bit of ex excess fuel in there, but that's fine. Now, I do need to make this look a lot nicer than this, but if I'm not happy with how much I can smelt and how much I'm getting back in a time frame, I can always extend this further down, or even wrap it around in a big S shape, or whatever I need to do to make this bigger. I can still keep the same collection system, so there's nothing here that I need to change. I just need to add some more hoppers, more. Uh, rail lines and I can make this as big as big as I want and I think in the future I might even look at building a automatic a zero tick bamboo farm over here that will help uh, maybe supply the fuel source for this instead of just using coal or or blaze rods I think for now I might go and start tidying this area up and there we go it's all done the chests are in place the glass is in and the room's been decorated. Now, I think I might do a little bit more decoration later, maybe put some more bits and pieces up to make it look a bit better. But for now, that's all I've got time for. If you like the episode, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so before you leave. Now, with that all said, see ya.